All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 27. And in this lesson, we are going to be going back to that standard algorithm of division, only this time we're going to have slightly larger problems. We're going to have three digits inside that house. The div uh, di dividend <laughs> is going to be three digits. The divisor, the number outside of the house, is still going to be one digit. And we're going to be connecting the dots, that place value technique, with the standard algorithm. So here they're asking us to just, just use the place value method um, to model this problem. So the idea is, what would it look like numerically? Well, it would look like this, 516 divided by 3. All right? But we're going to use the place value um, method symbols. Right, And so this is the hundreds column, this is the tens column, and this is the ones column. Teachers, I always make my students label these themselves. I never give them a pre-filled out chart. And the first thing we need to do is we need to model 516. So that's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundreds, 1, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, uh, six ones. Now notice I'm using the 10 frame style. I'm putting them in groups of five and then another group of five to make a 10 frame. So that's always by design. And we are going to first, this divide by three says we are going to need to be putting our numbers, our, our dots, into three groups. Now Eureka Math begins to do some shorthand where they're not actually drawing, in this case, these red lines to show the three groups. They're just kind of clumping them. Uh, you, teachers, you know your students, so if you can do that without being explicit like I just did, I was very explicit in putting in our three groups, go ahead and do it um, without being so explicit. Uh, but we have five dots. We need to sort them into three groups, so that means each group is going to get one dot, and that means we have used three dots, and we have these two remaining. And the idea is going to be, well, each of those needs to be cashed in for ten tens. Uh, and we're going to do that, and I'm going to put them, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we can take that and duplicate it. And there we go. All right, so there. So those two dots are no longer there because they've been cashed in for 10 tens down here. This 10 got, I mean, this 100 got cashed in for 10 tens. This 100 got cashed in for 10 tens. Now, what would that look like over here in the standard algorithm? Well, we had five hundreds. That was these five dots. And we need to put them into three groups. So that means... Each group is going to get one dot, and so we're going to have two hundreds left over, and that's this right here. So these one dots right here represents this one. This three means we've used up three dots. This two means we have two hundreds left over, and you can see it's in the hundreds column. Well, so now we know that with the 200s and the 110, we now have 21 tens, and that's what this 21 represents. That's why I'm bringing down the 1, and I now have 21 tens. And I'm going to take those 21 tens and sort them into three groups, and I can do a little bit of math, and I can see that each group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, each group is going to get 7 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and and then I can duplicate that and move it down. All right, so there, and so that means what am I going to do? Let's see. I'm going to put seven right here because each of the three groups is going to get seven dots. So that means I've used twenty-one dots, twenty-one tens, and I have nothing left over at this point. So every single one of these dots got used. All 21 dots got used. So now I have six ones. It's right here. So in the standard algorithm, I bring down the six. 
So I have six ones that I need to separate into three groups. And that means each group is going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Each group is going to get two dots. And that means we're going to use up all six of these dots. So what is that going to look like in the standard algorithm? Well, we've got six dots sorted by three groups or sorted into three groups. That means two dots in each group. We use six dots total. And we have no dots at all left over. And there is our connection. Now, uh, for this problem, Eureka Math just wanted us to model this, the place value disks right here. This is your Dwayne Habecker bonus. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to do this, but I thought I would do that because the more practice we do um, with the standard algorithm, the better. So here we are supposed to do both, this place value disks and the standard algorithm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write 648 divided by 4. All right. And then I'm going to model our disks over here. So here's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And let's model that. So 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 40, and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's our model, 648, and we are going to divide it by four, four groups. So I'm going to see if I can do that more of the, um, the way that Eureka Math has been doing it. I'm going to draw, let's see, a line right here. All right, so now, first thing is we want to sort it into four groups. So we have six dots. So that means there's going to be one, two, three, four groups. And we're going to have two dots left over. So that means we've used one, two, three, four. And we have this dot and we have this dot left over that is going to get exchanged eventually. All right. So what is that going to look like in the standard algorithm? Over here, well, you have six hundreds divided amongst four groups. So each group is going to get one dot, and that means you're going to use up four dots, and you're going to have two hundreds left over. Now, the idea is, over here, these two dots need to be cashed in for ten tens. And so this is going to be, let's see... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we need another one of those for there. And so those dots, these two dots are no longer here because we cashed them in for 10 tens. So how many tens do we have together now? Well, we now have 24 tens. So what does that look like? This 4 comes, ooh, whoa, comes down and we now have 24 tens. And we, we can see it over here. Now these 24 tens need to be divided up into four groups. And so 24 tens divided up into four groups means each group is going to get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can duplicate that. And then we go down here and down here. So there's our four groups of 24. And that means we've used up all 24 tens. 10, 24. All right. So what is that going to look like over here in our standard algorithm? Well, the standard algorithm is going to say, well, we had 24 tens. We divided them up into four groups. Each group gets six dots. And that's exactly what we see over here. And that means we've used up 24 dots and we have no dots left over. And sure enough, that's exactly what you can see up here. So we're going to now say, well, we now have eight ones to divide up into four groups. And so that's why this eight comes down. We have eight ones divided up into the four groups. And that means each group is going to get two dots. So you've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And, and that means we've used up 
all of these dots up here. They're all gone. And so that's going to be our answer right here. Each one of these is our, our answer. Um, so what is that going to look like in our standard algorithm over here? Well, you had eight dots divided amongst four groups. So that means each group gets two dots. It means you used up all eight and you have nothing left over. So the answer is, according to the algorithm, 162. And that's exactly what we see right here. We see one ten, uh, 100, six tens, and two ones. Just more practice of the same. So I'm going to think, I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do all of the disk work first, followed by the algorithm. All right, let's see what happens if we do that. So I'm going to make my chart. Here's my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to model 900, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now it says that we are going to, uh, let's see, we are going to divide that into four groups. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. And so if you have nine hundreds, and you're going to sort them into four groups. That means each group gets two dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so that means we've used up, let's see, all five of these, three of these, and we have one dot remaining that is going to get regrouped. And it's going to be regrouped right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So instead of having 100, we're going to have 10 tens plus the 6 tens. So we now have 16 tens. And 16 tens sorted amongst the four groups means each group is going to get four dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. So that means we've used up all 16 dots perfectly. We have nothing left over. So now we have just these four ones to sort amongst the four groups. That means each group gets one dot. One, two, three, four. And that tells us that our answer is right here. 241. 241. So let's model that using the standard algorithm over here. So we're going to have our house 964 divided by 4. And we have 900s divided by 4 groups, means each group gets 2. That means we multiply 2 times 4 and we get 800s. And we have 100 left over which can be cashed in for 10 tens, which means we now have 16 tens. And 16 tens divided by four groups means four dots in each group, which gives us nothing left over, which means we now have four ones left over. And four ones divided amongst five, uh, four groups means each group gets one dot, it means we use up all four, we have no dots left over. And so what you can see is our answer using the standard algorithm is 241, and that's exactly what we have down here. And that wraps up grade four, module three, lesson 27. We're using place value disks but we're also connecting it with the numerical standard algorithm, and we're dealing with some problems that are a little on the tricky side, 900, oh, 964 as one example, where we have to do some regrouping with the hundreds in order to get our answer.